Hello everyone, Gilly here. Welcome to Trying New Tech, a series in which I stumble and bumble my way through new software tools, programming languages, what have you, for the first time. The languages and tools may not necessarily be new, they may not be new to you, but they're certainly new or unfamiliar to me. That being said, enjoy this thrift store-esque series, and may my trials be few or at least amusing. All right, in this episode, I'm gonna play with the Manjaro Linux distribution. Every once in a while, I'll hop over to distrowatch.com and kind of see what the latest and greatest of Linux distributions are because I'm kind of fascinated by the ecosystem and just how many of these things pop up and what's popular at any given time. Mint's been leading for a while, but I noticed this contender today, which I haven't been on in a while, but I've never heard of this one before. It's called Manjaro, so of course I clicked into it to learn that it's an Arch-based system which I've installed Arch before. It's a little tricky to install. It's probably one of the harder, more advanced ones, although its wiki is pretty good for beginners. But anyways, this one claims to be a lot easier, so I figured it would be fun to try out. I kind of want to see what's going on with it, what it's all about. So let's hop over to the site. This is Manjaro's site. It looks friendly. It looks very uncharacteristic of a Linux distro because it's very simple and not kind of crazy uh, programmer friendly. So let's see, let's just download a current release. And I love XFCE, so I'm probably gonna go for XFCE, but let's just see what else is available. We got KDE, GNOME. Architect ISO. Oh, wow. With our console-based net installer, you can either install any of Manjaro's. Okay, so this is a really custom, kind of advanced version. You can do BTRFS, which is one of those awesome hip file systems. I am not clever enough for that right now. So let's just go for good old XFCE. And I guess we'll do 17.1.2. I assume that's a date, month, day, year, month, day. All right. So let's download it. That ISO is going to be 1.7 gigs. So Manjaro is still downloading, but I noticed on the site, there's this hardware header and it looks like they have computers that are actually specific to Manjaro, which is interesting, kind of cool. Just kind of browsing around the site, seeing if I can figure out what's going on with this. This distro actually seems to have just popped up and be fairly big, and I hadn't heard of it. Right now I'm looking at the Manjaro wiki while it's still downloading. There's only a few minutes left. I remember the package manager tool that's used in Arch is called Pac-Man, and it's super cool. I remember you could really opt in to do whatever you want with it. So I think that's kind of cool. I'll probably explore that a little bit as part of this. Manjaro finished downloading. So I'm gonna use VirtualBox. I'm gonna create a new virtual machine. So I picked min driver, which isn't right. I should probably pick Arch Linux and this is 64 bit. Let's see, I usually do about eight, might as well as beef it up. I'll create a new hard disk. I'll just go for 40 gigs, nothing too crazy. Let's boot it up and then let me find the file. All right, let's start this. Oh, that was quick. So what, what are my options? I guess I can change the time zone, the keys, language, some drivers. I can boot into it, memtest. Installed BIOS system on. I don't know what that means. I'll boot in. All right, here we are. We're in it. And first impressions, I really like the way it looks. I've never been huge on these little pop-ups, but it's because I kind of just like to explore rather than seeing all their links. Um, though this is nice, having a launch installer option right from the get-go. I don't really know how to describe my first impressions of this desktop. It's looking kind of sleek, kind of clean. Pretty modern, I'd say, for Linux. So let's go ahead and install and see what happens. All right, typical install. I do want English. New York works for me. Yep, that's fine. Man, I like this. This is very sleek. I mean, it's nothing too unusual so far. This is just like all the old installers. I want to erase the disk. It's giving me some nice, clean, obvious descriptions or visuals on how it's going to install. So it's going to be eight gigs of swap, which I'm fine with. This is just a trial, really. My name, Gilly, try Manjaro. I'll just log in automatically since I'm just trying this out. 
and I will be an admin. Why not? Or use the same password for admin. All right, so now it's giving me a summary of everything I've selected. It's probably fine. I've done this a lot in the past, so I'm not really worried. So far, this is so easy to install. Install now. Compared to when I went and tried to do Arch, that was a lot trickier. It seems super nice so far. I like this loading screen. Completely customizable to exactly how you want it. From theming to the very kernel itself, it can be changed. I like that. That's nice. That's kind of the spirit of Linux, if you will. All right, so here's Pac-Man again. It's got Pac-Man and two GUI options. Octopi and Pemac. Hmm. Interesting. All right, while this is installing, I'm going to search for some packages that I'm probably gonna want. So use pacman dash big s little s to search. So let's go ahead back in here. Let's open up a terminal. So far, so good, pretty familiar. pacman dash ss. Let's try vim. Ooh. Interesting, it looks like my databases are out of date. This might just be on the live CD, maybe when it installs it'll work, who knows. Let's see if there's something I have to do. So looking on their wiki, it looks like I might have to do a sync with the repository. So let's try this, big ass YY. So Pac-Man, big ass YY. Let's try to sudo that. Ah, here we go. All right, so I synced, let's try searching again. So let's see, Vim. Wow, lots of Vim stuff. So it actually did like a grep on the results. So we've got Vim and we've got a bunch of plugins. That's pretty neat. Let's try some other things. Is there F sharp? Can I get an F sharp interpreter? Ooh, looks like maybe not. What about just mono? I wonder if I'm searching for a package or for the executable name. Let me try F sharp I. Uh, no go, that's too bad. What about like, Haskell stack. I'll just give it a random shot and see what happens. No, what about just Haskell? Plenty of packages, plenty of cool things. Oh, now the install's picking up, so that's good. Let's try something simple and dumb, git. Yeah, okay, we got plenty, neat. What about racket? Got a little bit of racket going, very cool. Arch seems pretty neat so far. I like just being able to search for packages like that. All right, and it looks like the install has just finished. That didn't take too long. It took a while to kind of unpack the system, which makes sense, there's a lot to do. So I'm gonna restart. And one thing I really like to do with newly installed packages is to see, or newly installed operating systems, is to see how big the image is in the end. So if I open up my terminal, I've navigated to the Manjaro virtual machine, if I do a du.h, okay, so it installs at about 5.3 gigs in a VM, fresh. I've got to go to VirtualBox and detach the CD drive most likely. So storage, oh, and I should stop it first. Let me stop it. I can just kill it because it's running off the live CD right now. I don't want to save. All right, so settings, storage, remove. Okay, so now we should boot off of the system I just installed. The boot's feeling a little slow for eight gigs, but it's not actually horrible. I mean, it's on a VM. You can only really expect so much. I'm gonna turn this thing off because that gets on my nerves a little bit. And we're in. So this is nice. They just decrease the number of things on the desktop. Can I get rid of trash? That's always one of the most important things that needs to happen first. Oh, I can't get rid of trash. That. It's such an interesting kind of silly carryover from Windows that I'm not really a huge fan of. So let's see what kind of things we got going here. We got normal power, normal controls, date time. This all looks very standard. Um, oh, system settings, cool. I'd like to mess around a little more with the customizability that they're claiming, but in the interest of time, I'll probably just play with the package managers and see what it takes to get F sharp. When I tried it earlier, I couldn't get it just from their official repository, so maybe I'll try to get it from another repository. So let's see what programs we get for free. Terminal, file, what's the browser? It's probably some Arch specific browser. Ooh, no kernel is available, wow. Let's see, let's keep poking around here. 
HP Device Manager. Fascinating. It's got HP specific stuff built in. I'm not on an HP. It didn't pick that up. Although it might, the virtual machine might provide fake uh, HP hardware, virtual HP hardware, which might be picking up. Who knows? I'm not really super familiar with these kind of things. I just kind of like to poke around and find ones that I like. So far, it seems equally as compatible. Oh, it comes with Steam? Wow. It feels, or maybe this, let's see, if I click it, is it really Steam or is it a link to download Steam? Oh, it's Steam. Oh, wow. But so far, this seems fairly co compatible or capable. It seems, I, I've been using Linux Mint for a long time, and this seems like I could get most of the same things done. I don't know if I have any problems with it so far. I, like I said, I really would like to play with the configuration at some point, but maybe not yet. There's a lot of things to do in here. My goodness. HTOP, that's a good program to have by default. It's a cool visualizer of your usage. That's cool. Oops, wrong one. I'm not used to these little uh, closing buttons. Okay, so Firefox, I didn't mention that. Firefox is the default. So let's boot up the terminal. Oh, interesting. Whenever I booted Steam, maybe I did click something else by accident, but now it's attached to my desktop. I find that unusual. So I probably have to do another Pac-Man sync. So that was big ass YY. Got to pseudo that. All right, so that's synced up. Let's see if I can zoom. Oh, I like being able to zoom. Pac-Man, let's go ahead and install the most important thing. Let's install Vim. Might need to pseudo that. Oh, this is nice. I really like Pac-Man. I need to get more into it. So it's telling me how big it's gonna to be to download, how big to install. Very cool, let's do it. All right, so I installed Vim, and now I wanna do pack-tree Vim to see its dependencies. I think this might be a cool command to run. Oh, look at that, that is so cool. It's giving me a tree of Vim and everything it needs to run, wow. That is really cool. I wonder if they have NeoVim. Looks like we do have some NeoVim packages, that's cool. So I said I wanted to get F-sharp. Let me try to search for F-sharp again. I don't think I'm gonna find it, but let's see if we can. Nope. So I'm gonna search on the internet, Arch Linux F-sharp. And here we go, we have a package. So how do I install it? It's nice when these sites give you an exact way to do it, but I mean, Arch is a little more advanced, so it probably assumes some basic knowledge, um, which I don't have. So I'm gonna go back to the wiki and see how I can install from a link somewhere on the internet. Downloading installing s is the package name without actually installing them. So you can download packages without installing them. That's kind of cool. To install a package from the or, A-U-R, which I would guess this is what this is, you can say yort, looks like yogurt, dash s. So let's try that. It looks like we don't actually have yoart. Yeah, oh, art. So let me just search for that and see if I have to install it. Okay. I kind of like that, how you can do little s to search and then you can just kill the s to get actually get it. Oh, well, I guess you need a pseudo too. All right, so it looks like it went through successfully. This little pop-up keeps popping up, which is interesting every time you hit the package manager. So yoart-s should actually install it. And I want F sharp. Probably need to pseudo that. Edit package build, yes or no? I wonder if that's like my list of packages or something. I said yes, and it brought up nano, and I don't remember how to use nano, but uh, it looks like I can kind of configure the build script, wow. That's interesting, okay, I'm gonna say it's okay. Continue building F sharp, yeah. That was kind of nice, so it showed me what it was gonna to do to build, which in my mind is pretty nice and safe. Like if you wanna configure the build or if you wanna see if anything potentially nasty is happening to your machine, you can see that. So it's telling me it's gonna install this in mono. I bet this is a dependency of mono. We could use pack tree or whatever that command was to figure that out if we wanted to. Pac-Man seems really, I know I've said this already, but Pac-Man seems really nice. Like this just feels a lot better than like apps or other package managers I've tried to use.
Okay, I guess it's done installing F Sharp. Let me throw together a really quick program. Let distro equal Manjaro printfn hello distro. Ooh, my thing is not configured. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's try to run that and see if it works. Hey, we've run F Sharp on Manjaro, that's pretty cool. So overall I'd say I really like this distro. It feels good. It feels like it's trying to do for Arch Linux what Ubuntu and Mint did for Debian. It's trying to take a pretty good system, a really good base, and just make it more accessible for people. And overall, I really like it. Pac-Man seems really cool, maybe I'll try Pac-Man out a little more sometime or try to learn actually more of the depths of Pac-Man, learn more about the tool. But overall, I, I really like this. I'm probably going to use this distro some more, at least to try it out and kind of get a feel for how it works.